Um, this is my first time and I will do it again um, just to see you know the, the kids um, the fun that they're having and um, knowing that they don't know nothing about Jesus and now they 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 accept Jesus and it's, it's very I, I can tell you how I feel to see that that they come to the Lord um, it's a blessing <laughs> So the more tickets you have, most likely you're you're about to get a ticket from the from the treasure chest, okay? Do you guys get it? So one ticket, you get a ticket for coming tomorrow. You get two tickets. It's really a challenge to us as, as church members, as believers. I get to canvas my neighborhood and meet my neighbors and uh, praying that they will also come to the Lord through, the, through means of their children.
This is Maru. She has been a club host for many years, although her children are grown. And Maru, share some of your experiences as a club host. Um, I went to the store to Stato Brothers, and as I was shopping, I see this young man looking at me, and he says, Mrs. Ramirez, Mrs. Ramirez. And I look at him, and I say, like, oh, uh, you remember me. And I'm thinking, I don't know this young man. Who is he? <laughs> and finally he says, I'm Gabriel, remember? I used to go to the Bible class in summertime at your house, remember? And then I say, oh, yeah, yeah. He said, how are you doing? And I said, oh, fine. But you know, at the moment, he just remind me that God something did in his heart. And that God says always to plant those seeds and young children. And for that minute, I thought, I'm going to open my house every summer so that their children, they're not my children, but the God's children will come and have a seed plant in the heart and know Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Because it's it's God's house, it's not our house, and He's provided it. So it's it's just an honor for us to be able to open up our home uh, to the uh, CEF and the Five Day Club. And we're opening up our home, not only opening up our home, but having these wonderful missionary uh, girls working with the kids and just getting their attention and capturing their heart for the Lord. So it's a real honor for us. Praise be to God. Amen. Just. I'm just glad that we were able to uh, host our host our host for the five day club, and it's just a blessing to see God work through uh, teenagers and high schoolers like me to bring um, little kids to Christ and uh, advance in the kingdom. And uh, it's just a blessing to see all this happen at, at our house. He went out and started telling people about Jesus. He was so excited. Do you think this is a good job for John? Yes. Yes. Well, it was. It is. A good job for John. He would go out door by door every day. He would wake up early in time. We still take care of the kids and we love for them to learn about Jesus. We love for them to have the feeling of a home and to do the things that they do at Vacation Bible School. So we ask the Five Day Club to come to our home and help us with our kids to um, do games, have fun, and they're doing a great job and we appreciate it. all their energy on us but it was fun because the kids I could tell they really love the Lord and they just want to learn more and they just pay attention like their faces are stuck in the lesson or something and they want to learn the verses and they want to tell them and they have so much fun at the end and another girl her name was Ashley and um she didn't want us to go. She was crying. And she's like, oh, I'm going to miss you guys. So that really touched my heart because um, I didn't think they would miss us that much. <laughs> Hi, my name is Danielle. And uh, this is the first time I'm doing this uh, 
transmission project. It was, uh, I really wanted to do it at first because it's something that I want to do uh, probably when I get older. I want to work with kids and all that stuff, so this really helped me and I'm glad God put this in my life. Uh, one of the kids that actually stood out to me was the third week. Uh, it was at the first apartment. His name was Luis, and the reason why is because, well, at first this kid was like, it was like, he was really, like, he didn't talk to anybody, and, like, he was very disobedient, so, like, when you, like, during the Bible study, when you would tell him to, like, you know, write down and pay attention, he would just, like, laugh and just, like, ignore you, so then it's like, he didn't really pay attention at first, and he didn't want to play any of the games, and, you know, if he felt like he didn't want to be there, it looked like he didn't want to be there. But then as the week went by, uh, he um, started, you know, talking to us a little bit, and he played a little bit of the games. We even got him soaked with one of the water balloons. And he was like, he wasn't mad or anything. He was like smiling. So then the last day came and, you know, he was happy. He was, he was hugging us, going to miss us. He paid attention. It's like, this was one of the kids that were like, it was very hard to get close to. But in the end, like, he ended up coming around. And I was really nervous at first because I've never done anything like this. But I was doing songs the first week and right when... Um, we finished the first song, the kids were all like, let's do another one, let's do another one. So it kind of like calmed my nerves. It's like, okay, they really want to be here. They just not like those kids who just want to get out of the house or anything. So it was really fun for me um, this past month. And I feel like we really made a difference in their lives. So I'm hoping to do it again next year. So, yeah. Like, we're taking the whole missionary experience and evangelism to another level when we're out there in the neighborhoods and knocking on doors and inviting the kids to come in. So that was that was probably my highlight because not only that, <clears throat> I saw the girls' commitment to go out to the streets, the highways and the byways, just like the Bible talks about, to go into the dark areas that no man wants to go to. But these girls were willing to go out and step in faith and um, knock on doors and invite kids to come out because of their willingness, because of their faith. Many kids came as well. And just like we keep saying, we're going to see these kids again in heaven because of, um, just because we love the Lord. And this is what we're led to do. So, glory to God. <laughs>